Losing weight can be very frustrating and very confusing. I've been in your shoes. I've gained weight when I came from Europe to North America. I gained over 35 pounds. I was very confused about um, how I gained it. And I also was very confused about how to lose it. I was trying to go about losing weight in so many wrong ways. Now I know, for example, I was um, looking for low fat items and low fat means usually higher sugar because there's got to be something to compensate for that um, taste. So sugar usually is added to compensate for the fat. I was trying milkshakes and to replace my meals that didn't work. That also had a lot of different additives and a lot of chemicals and uh, sugars, even though it said protein, it really had other things that made me want to uh, drink that shake again. And also you don't want to drink something for your meal because it's so unsatisfying. Really our brain can register that we're satisfied and full after so much of chewing that food. And, and if we're just drinking it quickly, that's really not satisfying. And then we're just left wanting more. After all those different uh, trials and errors, I uh, finally realized that uh, it's the carb count that is important and sugar in foods that is important, especially refined sugar, not the calories per se, because um, I could have had just 10 donuts and make the amount of calories for that day, but I was left then with uh, no vitamins, no antioxidants, uh, that was a huge breakthrough when I realized that a low carb diet is the key. You are still eating, you can enjoy foods, you are just, um, you're definitely not depriving yourself. So it doesn't really feel like a diet. It just uh, feels like clean eating. So lots of fruits, veggies, and uh, protein like fish and other seafood like shrimp or um, some lentils and other legumes. Um, that's all clean eating. And it really feels wonderful. After a while, you are really left with satisfaction. You don't want so much, um, you know, ice cream and other cookies. I also allow myself, which research shows that that's actually pretty good. You are allowing yourself to have some days when you uh, have that piece of cake or some cookies. I eat cookies in the morning or some little piece of cake or a cinnamon bun or something with my coffee. I'm used to that. I come from Europe and that's just how it was back when I was growing up. And um, I really didn't have any weight issues there. After a few years of me trying to see how to go about losing weight, once I discovered that low carb is the key, that was a huge breakthrough because I started losing weight and I maintained my weight for about 15 years now. So it doesn't feel like I'm on a diet. It just feels like I'm eating great food and um, healthy food. I feel good. When I was 35 pounds overweight, I felt very tired and I just wanted to sleep and my skin would break out and it was just terrible. So really, uh, once you feel better and you start to have more energy, you realize that that's the right Food for you. The second one was that um, exercise was a part of my life before, but I used to think that just by exercising, I could allow myself to have anything after that. So if I saw that I was on that treadmill for uh, 30 minutes and I lost 300 calories, I would uh, say, oh, now I can have ice cream and I would just indulge in the ice cream just because I lost 300 calories on that treadmill, but that really doesn't work that way. I always say that you need to eat for your weight loss and exercise for your health, but really those two together, they're like a magic potion for weight loss. Like back home where I grew up, it wasn't, there wasn't so much snacking. So we really didn't snack at all. This is really um, more of an American culture. And um, why that is, I guess, because it's everywhere and you have aisles and aisles of, of, of chips and, um, you know, Cheez-Its and all those uh, puffed um, little snacks. There are too many in, in the stores and it's hard to not uh, have them, right? And once you try one, you want to finish the whole bag. It's impossible to have just a handful, at least for me.
Um, snacking is, is something that I, to, that I brought to a minimum. I'm not really for any kind of um, protein bars because they have a lot of uh, artificial ingredients in there. It just um, tells me that there are so many chemicals. They're not really uh, made for, for us. It's made for the food to maybe taste better or to keep the food longer on the shelf. But I did find a few protein bars that are pretty good. One I don't have, uh, uh, there is a picture of it on the screen. It's um, RX bar and it has um, just a few simple ingredients. That one is really good. And it's very um, nice and kind of chewy and tastes very good. And um, I don't feel like I have any aftertaste uh, from, from it, which happens a lot with protein bars. That one is my number one choice. There are some other ones that I found. Um, this one, for example, this says love good fats. This one is really good too. Um, although it does have a little bit of added sugar, two grams, not a big deal, but it really kind of feels like, um, like a cookie. So you got to be careful and really want to, you know, because of that added sugar, it kind of makes you want it again so just be careful with that uh kind bar is also uh, not a bad one some nuts and sea salt dark chocolate so it's not it's not bad this is the one that unfortunately for example uh this one i would not choose because it has um i believe seven added seven grams of sugar so if you want this to have for breakfast yes <laughs> at least that's my choice my opinion this is a really nice snack if you feel like you have a sweet tooth and you would like something that's 72 uh, percent dark chocolate so that's something that uh, always works for me i also love fruit if i feel like i would love to have something sweet i go for fruit i was careful with comfort eating and boredom eating so if I felt like I needed to comfort myself about something, I uh, really uh, tried not to go for uh, the food, but actually would try to go for a walk or especially if I was bored, I would definitely try to go for a walk and that way reduce my stress levels that helped me with uh, cravings. So that's something that I always do and um, it really helps. If I have to have a snack, I would definitely go for some healthier snacks. So I would uh, not buy anything that I knew that would just destroy my um, diet. So I would buy um, olives. Olives are really good for uh, as a snack and uh, uh, pickles. Pickles are excellent. For example, it's only seven calories per olive. Also, pickles are very low in calories and they're very satisfying. They're crunchy and they just reduce the appetite. They also reduce your sugar cravings. So those two snacks are great um, just to keep handy instead of having chips and cookies in your pantry. How to stay motivated while doing all this? If you feel like you're doing this for yourself and not for other people, if you feel that this will make you healthier, that you are uh, happier because you can run, you can stretch, you, you're more flexible, you don't feel breathless when you're going up the staircase, well, maybe that's enough for you to keep on going. I hope this helps. We can all win at weight loss. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.